Hello Pisces, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. We are on the road and roughing it a little bit. Bunchy, watch out. Um, we are gonna do our reading here by the fire and um, and hopefully my granddog is gonna let us get through it, you guys. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we are, if, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, I usually have a different setup but I am traveling and um i am hanging out with my grand dog here so she's very interested in the cards she's uh, just a pup and just a sweetheart all right you guys let's dive in spirit please show us what do you have for pisces these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest what card do you have for pisces for pisces please spirit okay this one wants us to look at it it's called the attraction. Okay, okay, Pisces. Um, I'm gonna put this back in, but the attraction. And then on the bottom of the deck, Queen of Hearts. Well, isn't that you, Pisces? And then you're getting clarity and truth. Wow, okay. So someone may be acknowledging or admitting that they have feelings for you, Pisces, or that, you know, they may be kind of coming to the truth about even why they're attracted to you or even what it is about you that is different than everyone else or than all of their other experiences here. It's like it, the attraction also feels like it comes from the inside. I mean, I, I feel like they feel a physical attraction, but there's something here about it being the queen of hearts, about it being yeah, like even the star card on the bottom of the deck as I shuffle, um, there's just this energy. My goodness, Pisces. Wow, I just shuffled. Honey, Sam, this is my grand dog. Isn't she so cute? Her name is Honey. Okay, Honey Box. Honey. <laughs> no, girl. Here, where's your toy? Here. Here. Come here. Look at that. Look at your teddy bear. Um... Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Okay. Pisces. You know, I feel very much here with the Five of Swords in reverse, with the Two of Swords in reverse, with the Three of Pentacles upright and the Ten of Pentacles upright. Someone is releasing a situation that was preventing them from being able to move forward. And it may even be their own overthinking. It may be conflict. It may be a situation that made them feel like they couldn't um, come forward or that they couldn't make progress or that, that it, it couldn't progress beyond a certain point. You're getting this clarified by why and a leg up. So I feel it's like, you know, divine intervention um is how i feel there's there's this energy of you know when something happens that's that is seemingly in contrast to what we think we want or what we have going on in our lives sometimes we don't understand the purpose of it or we don't understand why this has to happen or why we're experiencing it and it feels like this person has been sort of chewing around mentally this question of why this question of you know um it's like they're looking for answers and i do feel you know a lot of times when cards are in reverse this is an energy of introspection this is an energy of you know really looking within and really looking to our thoughts to provide answers for us as to like what we should do and how we should do it either this person has someone in their life that is giving them advice or is helping them find their way through the situation or is even possibly asking them the question that is the catalyst for them finding the answer and and it feels like it's very much focused wow under the nine of cups the ten of cups pisces Look at that. It's like, it, worry about your own happiness and the rest will follow. So I feel like this, per, whoever this person, whoever's helping this person is asking them, 
What is going to make you happy? What is going to bring you emotional contentment and emotional fulfillment? Because once you find that, the rest will follow. And I feel like, so it's caused this person to ask themselves a lot of questions that maybe they weren't asking themselves. Maybe they were just going with the flow and, and dealing with life as it is without asking themselves, can I make it better? Is there something I can do? Could I get more from life? Can I, you know, with, when we don't ask ourselves questions and we're just sort of going along with the way things are, um, you know, we can do that for so long. Yeah, see? You're getting time for a nap and the energy of orphaned here. It's like this person was kind of asleep. It's like this person was not really asking themselves, am I happy? Is this gonna lead me to my ultimate happiness? Can I actually see myself not only individually finding my own emotional contentment in this relationship or in this situation, um, but can I also find emotional contentment with another person? So, and, and can this situation be happy and can it be harmonious? Um, because yeah, with the six of swords and temperance on the, on, underneath those, it, it's an energy of, I've got to come to a place of peace. I've got to come to a place where I'm balanced, where I'm able to give to myself and to this situation, you know, filling my own cup asking myself what makes me happy, asking myself, you know, um, for the answers. And, you know, it, it's kind of like this person feels alone in dealing with their situation. It feels like this person doesn't feel supported. They, there's clearly other people involved here with the Five of Swords being in reverse. There's clearly other people involved in this situation that they're thinking about, but they're, they're feeling alone. Like they're, they're bearing the weight of it on their own here. Okay. What is the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles? Clean it up. Yeah, see? And then to be fair. So this person is trying to figure out how to do the right thing to get where they need to be. This person needs cooperation. They need partnership. They need help. Um, they need people in their lives that share their vision and that are also working toward building something that is going to be solid and long-lasting here with the Ten of Pentacles. And so anything that doesn't fit in that, anything that's not bringing this kind of energy or this kind of potential to the situation, it's like this person is really having to look at it and really having to make decisions. Not only do they need to be fair to these people that they're dealing with, but they need to be fair to themselves. And it feels like they may have been prioritizing other people and now they're getting clarity and truth because they're looking at their own happiness and whether they are happy and whether happiness is even possible in a situation like this. I feel like they need a break and I feel like they may be taking a break. Um, and time for a nap can also allude to almost like meditation, almost like I'm putting these feelings or these thoughts aside. I'm not looking for the answer. I'm not searching for the answer. I'm, I'm just freeing myself from, from thinking about it and I'm letting the answer come to me. And when, when the, when someone asks them, you know, are you happy? Can you see yourself being happy in this situation? You know, this person, that may be all this person needed to know. Is there anything else for the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces? Yeah, see, I get this feeling of divine intervention. And look at this. So we're getting higher power, right? And then we're on the bottom, we're getting this poised energy. So I think this person is all of this divine intervention, all of this, even possibly a person coming in to ask them, um, you know, are you happy even? It's all, it's all sort of working in concert. That's how the universe works. The universe will put even strangers in, in our place to illuminate to us things that we need to know. They're like angels in disguise, right? Um, but I feel like this person now sort of has an idea of what they need to do and they're getting ready to take action on it. All right, so let's see what else for Pisces, please, Spirit, for Pisces. They're definitely seeing the truth. They're de definitely, it's like a mask is falling off or something is becoming very, very clear to them. There's that star card energy. Wow, with the two of pentacles, you have the star card, the magician, the eight of swords, the queen of wands, and the five of cups. 
Pisces, I feel like your person is definitely freeing themselves from some mental prison. It's like they were only willing to see things or to think about things one way. I think they have a lot of regrets about this. They may have even let someone entrap them with their words. You know, if someone's dealing with an abusive situation where someone's telling them, you're no good, you can't do better than me, you're lucky to have me, nobody else would want you, da 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 that can keep you trapped. That can keep you in a system where it's like you keep coming around to the same energy of, well, no one else is going to want me, so I've got to make this work or whatever. With the, the magician and the star card energy, though, this person has had it. This person is freeing themselves from this situation and saying, I'm stepping into my power. I'm making a decision to empower myself to go after my wish fulfillment here with the star card energy. It's almost like th this is something, this is an energy that's faded to them or is, it's like divine timing that this happens. And, you know, the star card also embodies the energy of healing. And so as this person even like steps into their power and gets a little space and a little distance from these, either a thought pattern in their head that they had trouble really breaking through or, um, or, um, getting some kind of, I don't know. I feel like it's space from these words or the actions or statements of another person that's keeping them trapped. I feel like they are getting themselves to the energy where they can go after their wish fulfillment. I just want to clarify this. The Queen of Wands for Pisces. Sorry, baby. Okay, so we're getting the energy of big happy changes and in the near future. <laughs> You guys, how cute is my granddaughter? Okay. Um, this this energy is somebody who is really going for what they want. And they're really allowing change to take place. They may have been allowing themselves to stay stuck with that Two of Swords energy and that Eight of Swords energy mentally. They may have been allowing their thoughts to sort of keep them in place or... Even their words, even their commitments, even, you know, something like that. Something where it's like they felt obligated. Um, and they're freeing themselves from it. We're having big, happy changes in the near future. And we have this two of wands on the bottom of the deck, which is someone who... It's like almost a renewed focus on the future here with this person. It's like they're really looking at what do they want their world to look like. What do they want to have in their future? And how is it different than what they have now? And you can see they've completely turned their back on the past here. And they're only looking to the future. This person is choosing what they desire in their future. With the Queen of Wands, you may be dealing with a fire sign here. Um, but this is someone who I feel like they may not be taking action yet with the Queen of Wands energy like coming towards you here. But I feel like they're no longer focused on the past. They're no longer focused on the situation that they cannot possibly work out with the, the these three cups that are spilled here. So there is this energy of just they're open to receiving what they want, which means that they have freed themselves of whatever situation was keeping them stuck. Um, and they are ready for the big happy changes that are coming. In the near future, this person may actually take action. All right. Let me see what else for Pisces. There's that Queen of Cups again. The Chariot and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is getting themselves to a situation into an energy here where they are confident, they are secure, they are no longer... I mean, look, they're going from this to this. You see what I'm saying? That's a major transformation. That takes time. Um, but I like the way they're doing it in a way. It's like they're, they're, they're kind of going from, okay, I'm stuck, I'm stagnant, to really introspecting, asking themselves a lot of questions, really getting to the bottom of what is wrong and what, what they need to have changed or what they need to change. And they're stepping into this energy of 
you know, I feel like letting go and releasing the things that aren't in alignment with their, what they really truly desire, their happiness and what they kind of, their deep inner knowing about what is kind of meant for them with this black cat and the queen of wands energy. They're freeing themselves up and opening them, their life up. Um, you know, dropping the burdens and opening their life up to accept the big happy changes to receive them. And as they're moving through this space, they're becoming more solid. They're, they're seeing this, their own strength, their own power, the stability that they're able to create for themselves on their own, which is a wonderful platform and a beautiful energy to launch some kind of successful endeavor here. Um, and with the chariot card, this is where, you know, we link up with someone who is a total balance, a total match for us who's able to go the distance with us. They are equally yoked. Um, as we say, they, they are our true partner, our true companion. They can go the distance with us. There's nothing holding them back from sharing this vision and moving towards success. So, um, and you know, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles, wow. Ugh. Um, this person I feel like feels left out, feels, you know, it's like you, you may have been warm and loving and nurturing. They may feel like they don't have access to you right now, but they're also sort of telling themselves it's a matter of time until I can be happy and we can be happy together. All right. Let me get you some messages here, Pisces. You're being a good girl. You are being a good girl, my little grand dog. All right, if you're dealing with a water sign, Pisces, you're getting I love you. Can I get one more for a water sign? You're also getting my love is unconditional. Wow, that's beautiful. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I've looked up twin flames and you could have anyone you want. If you are dealing with an earth sign, I'm a mess and soon and I hate being so far away. And if you're dealing with an air sign, you are getting, you make me feel alive inside and I can hear you. Okay, Pisces, this very interesting reading with this very interesting setup <laughs> is what I have for you today. I hope it helps. I hope it brings you guys some peace and clarity. I really, honestly, I feel like your person is finding the truth. I feel like, you know, Pisces, you are definitely on your mind. You are definitely in their heart space with this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Hearts. It's like, you know, it, it, it feels like they're definitely seeing the truth about this relationship and about what it is they really want and what they need to free themselves from and, you know, the tools that they actually have to make this happen for themselves so that they can put those elements together and make something happen here. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I deeply appreciate it. I hope that you got something out of this reading. I'm going to let Honey have her blanket back. <laughs> this is her blanket <laughs> that we're using. All right. Um, until next time, guys, I send you off with all my very best. Always, always, always.